By 2008, it was obvious to anybody who was paying attention that Barack Obama had a strange and highly creepy personal life. Yet nobody ever asked him about it. By that point, a leader's behavior within his own marriage, the core relationship of his life, had been declared irrelevant. It was Barack Obama's business, not yours. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location where Senator Obama exited the limousine with $250, which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine, after which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. The following day, November 7th, 1999, Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room, unannounced, uninvited, where we again ingested cocaine and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama. 